everybody welcome back to today's video i'm going to show you how to create this real quick also i'm going to show you one secret way i used the camera raw to achieve these beautiful colors let's step to photoshop let me show you how to do it click on create new and then we're going to set it to 2000 2572 click on create let's set our alignments by using view i'm going to new gas layout and then set it to 44 click on ok now we are going to file and we are going to place embedded and we are going to pick our background and then we are going to resize it okay to fit nicely okay so we are done with the background so our background looks like we're going to put it in a group and then we are going to call it bg all right now we're also going to click on our text tool we're going to type over here and then i'm going to pick the name and then i'm going to paste it there but then i'm going to be using the font called autographia i'm going to be using them i'm going to set it to 540 or something like that big set the resolution sorry the track here to zero make sure the caps lock is off uh, and then i'm going to set the opacity here to around 20 okay uh, let's see click on the move to i'll leave it somewhere here i'm going to come back to it later on okay but that's the background for us now now i'm also going to bring in our image i'll go here to place embedded and i'm going to pick this one first i'll click on place then i'm going to drag head down like that ctrl h let's see how it looks like good i'm also going back to file i'm going to place embedded then i'm going to pick this one i'll click on place i'll click on enter then i'll drag head down again and then i'll drag it around this place okay so i feel like this is good now i'm going to file place embed it again and i'm going to pick this one and i'll click on place I'll click on enter I'll click on my move to then i'll drag here somewhere here okay so okay let me drag this down a bit more So that is it. We're going to put it all in a group. We are going to call it images. Now we need to go here and try and see how we can blend the background with the images. I'm going to be using Care for this. I'll clip it to it and I'll go and pick this drop, uh, you know, dropper here. Uh, just experiment and pick there and see. I'm going to pick the darker side over there. Now I'll come here and pick this one. I'll also pick the darker side over there again. Let's see. Okay, so experiment until you get the colors you're looking for. Okay, so okay, so I feel like this is enough. Alright, so I feel like this is enough. Let, let's see, let's set it to red. I feel like can drag this one here and I'll drag that one here a little bit drag red here good I'll set it to green I feel like green I can drag the green here a little bit as well um, blue blue is already good let's set it to RGB let's see RGB I feel like I can give here and I'll click here and I'll drag in here inside a little bit more so I'm basically experimenting right that's it then I'm going to give it another curve again. I'm going to clip it to it. I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag it up a little bit. Then I'm going to drag this one down. Alright, so that is what we are going to be having. Okay. Also, I feel like it's too much. Alright, so colors are retained. So this is good. We are done with the images. Now we want to bring in the, the name. I'm going to type here. And then I'm going to pick still the same name. I'm going to paste it there. Then I'm going to be using my uh, my for the name. Click on the move tool and then drag head down. Also, we need to work on the font size because this is too big. All right. So I'm going to be using around 200 and something. To maybe 207 we do. I'm dragging it down around here. I also can see it's not really legible. We can't really read the name well. So that means that we need to click here and then create a new layer. Then pick our brush to hold out and pick the duck in the background. And then we need to find a way to 
pin there just click on your move to click here drag it down you understand me just drag it down maybe reduce opacity a little bit uh, around 99 would do 99 good drag it down like that Control T, Control. Alright, so let's go to hit Control T, Control H. It has to be in the middle. That's why we created the lines. Okay, it has to be in the middle. Click on your text to type over here, and then go, and then pick, um, keep reading, and then paste it there. Okay, but you're going to be using Montserrat for this one, and then let's decrease the font size drastically to maybe around something 30. Okay, let's set. The tracking to 700 for the meantime all right and then um, let's see what we can do let's set it to bold now i'm going to click here pick this side set it to yellow over here let's pick the yellow and then let's go up to the yellow there let's pick keep all those side let's pick here let's go and pick there put in the background let's go all the way up okay so that is it now click on your move tool and then move it here ctrl t remember it always has to be middle aligned i like the way it is but i'm going to pick the two names and i'm going to drag them down a little bit more i feel like this is better you're going to put them in a group you're going to call them names okay so that is name we are done with name what else can we do the date Ooh, let's go to file place and pick that let's go and pick this a shape you're going to be using for the date i'm going to put it somewhere here okay maybe i'll drag it down a bit more uh, then I'm, I'm going to type somewhere there and i'm going to pick uh, that one and i'm going to paste it there click on my move to and then move it on top of it okay now it's too small so what we can do now is increase the font size maybe 108 or 100 and something will do okay i feel like the tracking is too much i'll make it zero nice drag it on top of it i don't like the way the font is let's change the font to adoha good and then ctrl t let's rotate the font i feel like this is better this is better also guys we need to write in circular motion so, so how can we do that i'm going to show you the trick real quick hold ctrl and click on this you're going to see dancing ants around it that's good create a new layer then i want you to come and pick any selection tool over here right click it and then you want to click on make work path set it to one and click on ok now click on your text tool and then i want you to come here and i want you to come and pick the glorious blah 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 then i want you to bring your cursor there click there and then paste it ctrl v to paste it okay now we are going to be using Montserrat for this also you're going to set it all to caps but i feel like the font size is too big so what can we do let's set it to 20 something maybe 26 or 25 okay then let's see now guys if yours is not inside don't worry i want you to set this side to minus 33 okay it will just go inside like that also guys we need to make sure it spreads out so let's set it to around um what, shall we, what figure let's set it to around maybe 500 for the meantime let's see I like the way it fills the whole place this is good let's put it all in a group let's call it what date so we are done with the date too as well there are more things we can do to this okay okay now the image because she looks beautiful she's a queen let's add some few ornamentals to it and i'm talking about i'm talking about the crown just to add an artistic touch to it i'm going to put it on this hair then I'm going to click on my test tool and I'm going to click here and then I'm going to pick glorious celebration as well and I'm going to paste it there okay paste it there okay I'm going to make it all caps over here I'm going to set it to color white so that we can see it I'm also going to be using Montserrat for it set it to medium here okay and I feel like it's too small let's make it to around 40 something They're about great also the tracking here we can set it to something higher 700 will do ctrl h ctrl t and then let's push it in the middle here like that and i feel like this looks beautiful 
even the crown here i can drag it all the way into the background as well everything fits nicely so what else can we do i feel like everything is beautiful i'm going to match everything together so Control alt shift and then e right click it and then convert it to a smart object i'm going to show you the tricks in camera raw to achieve a perfect color blend okay so let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter i'm going to be talking less from here guys so just watch me Guys, that's how you create something like this and so subscribe to this channel for more videos if you like this video guys don't forget to hit the bell icon don't forget to also like this video and comment i love you all see you in the next one peace out